Hello everyone, I thought I would take this opportunity to let you see my face and say hello in person. Welcome to the den in my house. Behind me it says uh, Dylan's Virtual Classroom, you can see on that board. My wife wrote that. <laughs> I wonder if I'll use that at some point during this whole era. As always, I hope this message finds you safe and well and healthy. All right, so three-dimensional figures today. We are going to talk about what happens when we turn them into two dimensions for this lesson. So I have here a very applicable prop right now in this world of everything being delivered. It's a box. It's three dimensions. It's a cube. If we had a Rubik's Cube in class, you're familiar with that. Now, some of my more artsy students, Dion, Corinne, especially I'm thinking of you, you would be able to make me much better objects for this lesson, but for now you're just going to have to bear with me. Alright, so what happens when we take this three-dimensional box and we break it down to recycle, please learn as well, into two dimensions, and I'm going to just rip it a little bit too, so you can truly see what happens when it gets broken down becomes a whole bunch of mini rectangles. Everybody see that? Turns out that happens every time you break down any three-dimensional object. So with a cone, for instance, a ice cream cone or any other type of cone, if you think about that, you have the circle that is either the top or the bottom of the cone, and then you have the pointed apex, either on top or bottom. So that's what a cone looks like. If you have a prism, a little bit more interesting, that has two of the shape that the base is. So if you have a hexagonal prism that's got like six sides, there'll be a hexagon on top, hexagon on bottom, and then the outsides of every single prism are just like the outsides of this rectangular prism. They're all a bunch of squares. I meant rectangles. Pyramids, there is only one base, so if there's a hexagonal pyramid, you're only going to have one of those, and then the rest of those on a pyramid, if you think about it all becoming a point, will be triangles. So pyramid, look for one base and triangles. Prisms, look for two base and rectangles. Cones, look for a circle, and just one attached larger shape for the the sides and then for a cylinder look for two circles and then if you peel off a label on the outside of like a like a container of like water like a 20 ounce water bottle you'll notice that the label becomes a rectangle so cylinders are really just two circles and a rectangle all right i'm not gonna give you much more than that to help you with this assignment because it's multiple choice and you can redo them as many times as you need to, so you will figure it out regardless. So I'm really using this as an opportunity for your, me to say in person, at least virtually. Miss you all, and I hope this video is helpful. And I look forward to our next lesson whenever that comes. Okay, bye-bye!